Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bass.com and in this video we are going to do the benchmarking for this Wicked Leak Wami Titan 2. I had already done the unboxing for this phone so you can check out this video for more info and the processor on this is a quad core clocked at 1.2 gigahertz and also the GPU is a decent GPU that's the PAR VR SGX 544 and let's run the Nina Mark benchmark again and this is important for gaming let me lower the volume and actually the GPU and the processor that's on this Rami Titan 2 is the same as that on the Micromax Canvas HD. Uh, these are quad core processor but they are based on the ARM Cortex A7 so they are not as powerful as the general quad cores found uh, using uh, for example the Cortex A9 and the Cortex A15. But overall the performance is pretty decent considering the budget price at these uh, at which this phone sell. So the benchmark is almost done and as you can see we get a very respectable score of uh, 51 FPS which is again a very good score for a budget oriented uh, Android phone. And as you can see it's the PAR VR SGX 544 uh, GPU. And uh, let me also show you the quadrant and before that let me show you the system information. As you can see, uh, it's a quad core processor, four cores, and the maximum frequency is 1.2 gigahertz. Minimum is 500 megahertz, and it's a MediaTek chipset, and the memory is 1 GB. So let's look at the GPU. Again, the resolution is 960 by 540. That's QHD, not Full HD. And uh, the GPU, as I said, is a PAR VR SGX 544. And let's look at the sensors and these are the sensors that Wicked Lake has provided. I have actually uh, saved the benchmark scores. Let me show you the uh, same. And uh, our device got a score of 3795 which is again uh, nothing great for a quad core processor. I would say you can get this score for a, with a very high end what do you say dual core processor. But nevertheless considering the price point of this device it's a very respectable score. Let me give you the breakup. The total is 3795. The CPU got a score of 8755. Memory is 2834. IO is 4789. 2D is 303 and 3D is 2296. And this is the Ante2 benchmark and again we get a very respectable score of 13,607. Let me show you the detailed scores also. And these are the detailed scores. I also ran the Velamo benchmark and in HTML5 we got a score of 1,417 and the metal score is 466. So again, uh, very respectable scores. Again, they are not chart toppers or anything like that. But considering the budget uh, price of these phones, I would say very respectable scores. I'll also be doing a full in-depth review of this phone. So if you have any particular questions, do post them in the YouTube comments below. I'll try to include them in my review. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bass.com and I hope to see you in my next video.